on cargo. Oh, I love and this map in this mode. So, it's so intense. So this is the first time Hardpoint has ever been streamed. And uh, here we go. Let's, <laughs> let's do it. Now, Cargo is such a fast-paced map. We actually uh, checked it out, and it looks like Raiden has a sniper rifle. Oh, it's man. the DSR-50. Let's definitely stay on board with him uh, right up yeah, the Yeah, absolutely. He's got that ballistic CPU on the back of that thing, and that's going to reduce his sway. I just love the way that thing looks. Yeah, and he's going to throw a <laughs> combat axe. YouTube money. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so now he's going to go ahead and walk over here and try and go. Oh, oh that nice was Nice shot on Merc. Right off the bat, now look gave at, us a, a nice thing to look at there. Yeah, so this is really cool. Now, if you look at the score panel at the top of the screen, when guys are in the zone, you'll see exactly how many players are in there. You'll see that little arrow indicating three players in the zone right now for STC, and that thing's going to be moving around. And that's how we're using the score panel to let you know the state of the game mode. Right, so as we see on Raiden's screen, the hard point is in the office here, and as we take a look on the picture-in-picture -picture overhead map, it looks like this is just chaos here in this area, but it looks like the Europeans have actually taken great control. We see on the picture in picture that all these players are on the objective. So you have three players right now. It's there's an icon there, Vaughn. So uh, that actually tells us that they're, you're on the objective in picture in picture mode. That icon is specifically good for indicating how many people are in that zone, so you know who to pay attention to. And it's just one of the many features of picture in picture and how we use objectives, the, that objective column, and indicate the state of the game for players. Yeah, now Swanee is on a four kill streak. We'll swap over to him. And it looks like he's calling in a four streak right there. It's a lightning oh, strike. Oh, nice hit. Two hit yep. lightning strike kill right there. That's right. So he picked up two kills. And now he's on a six kill streak. And look at that shot. What a shot that was. Oh, so dirty. Twiz, too. Twiz was scoped in with a sniper rifle. Not paying much attention. He just got it from behind. Eight kills in a row now for Swanee. And finally he goes down. And it looks like our North American team has actually taken the lead once again. Let's go ahead and swap over to them. Uh, Toby, who's actually filling in for Proofy on Team Envious, and he's actually European, too, playing with the North Americans. He's uh, doing some work right now. He's got an LMG firing from the hip. You seem to like that LMG. That's awesome. It's a very nice LMG. You know, in hard point, you get one point per second your team occupies that zone, Hastro. Yeah. So this could turn around at a moment's notice. Absolutely. The Europeans are on it right now, now the North Americans, so you see how quickly it can move. Uh, the momentum changes hard so point fast. That's what I'm trying to get at here in hard point. And the game is really close still. This is only a 13-point deficit at the moment with three minutes and 45 seconds left to go, so plenty of time on the clock. And this is actually a very close game, Vaughn. This is an absolute beast of an LMG, this LSAT. It's actually probably my favorite LMG. And uh, Toby here is just going to do work nonstop, I think laying down shell after shell. Yeah, he's got Scavenger as one of his perks. Why don't we take a look here at the options screen in picture-in-picture -picture mode and Codcaster uh, and Codcasting mode. So I'm able to actually go through here and remove elements of the HUD, change the way the screen looks. So right now I have the perks turned off. So, it, so we can't really tell what Toby is using on his class in terms of perks, but immediately I can just turn it on. And here you go. Yeah, there Toby's, are Toby's perks. Toby's, Ghost. Yeah, Ghost Scavenger and Dead Silence. He's running pretty traditional setup, I think, for, for Toby. But it's really nice to use this feature to see how players are equipped up. Yeah, why don't we actually talk about the perks for a second. Uh, Ghost, for example. Uh, tell me a little bit about uh, what's going on with the Ghost perk. Yeah, so in Black Ops 2 multiplayer, there are no perks that modify your weapons. You have to take an attachment to modify a gun. Ghost only modify you. Perks only modify you, the player. In this case, in order to get the benefit of Ghost, you actually be, have to be out there running and gunning and moving. Yeah, so Ghost does not, uh, basically you're not able to be seen by a UAV, just like Ghost was in Black Ops, but you have to be moving to get that perk to work. Right, it's really important for us to try to keep the game, pushing the action, getting players together, People love the fast-paced gameplay, and a lot of the game mechanics have been set up in tune to reward that kind of play behavior. Absolutely, and now Toby is still doing work with this thing. Let's take a look at the scoreboard, and he's 11 to 9 right now with an LMP. That's actually not that bad. How do you like the design of the new scoreboard? Oh, I mean, the scoreboard's amazing here. So, you know, as a, a caster, it's very important to be able to uh, show information to the audience as quickly as possible. And I know all of you at home are actually quite appreciative of, of this as well. You can see how much time is left in the game, uh, the score, what team is in the lead. You can actually see how many players are on the objective right now uh, for the SEALs team as they all just got taken off and now it's contested. So uh, yeah, I mean, it's just very informational. Love the score panel as a caster, it's very useful. 
I was really surprised right there that Toby didn't check that lane before. He saw that contested icon. There was only one spot that player could be. I think maybe he's having a little too much fun right yeah, now. Yeah, he's having too much fun. He's actually probably still getting used to hard point. This is so down. new first time that these guys have actually kind of gotten their hands on the game mode and been able to play. So let's see here. Looks like we're going to go ahead and cut back to the picture in picture. I'm going to go ahead and see what players are playing the objective. Big Timer is on a three kill streak and he's playing the objective right now. His perks are lightweight toughness and extreme conditioning. He gets taken out. He's got the MP stuff. That was a nice grab right there. He did have a sitting right on that edge, checking all of his lanes in and out of that hard point. Really good play, actually. Yeah, now he gets taken out again. He spawns back in. Let's see where he is in relation to the hard point. He's going to run into a couple players here, Vaughn, as he moves to the office. He also has a player flanking him from behind, but he makes it into the building just in time and now he's got still got the laser sight attachment on it yeah and it looks like somebody just made a big play let's see if we can find them let's pick out quiz at the moment really big play right here for the combined u.s team those seals 136 84 right now with 20 seconds to play awesome awesome game really fun to watch very good good job to all of our players yeah so the north americans are going to take it on 143 on the board right now they're still putting points up so the Europeans took game one. Now the Americans take a game, or take, take two games, actually. So uh, yeah, it's been interesting so far. What a great thing. Thank you, everyone, to the stream. What a great time. Yeah, had a blast. Thanks for being here, man. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. All right, victory. All right, guys. <laughs> Look at that Opti pump. <laughs> got Opti Gaming over here going bananas. All right, guys, we're going to play some Domination next. <laughs> We're going to go domination on aftermath. 